Hey, welcome to a new video. Today we're doing another sound bar. In the last video I did a Bose, um, maybe 500? It was like uh, over $1,000 and it had mediocre sound. So today we'll try something from Polk. Um, I've used Polk uh, items in the past, so why not? It was there, so I grabbed it. It's a big box, so we're gonna have to uh, back up the camera, get up here, she's gonna help me out. And we're gonna look at it. It's a big box. So it is a big old box. So Ash and I are going to uh, we're gonna pick it up. So here's the big box. Look at it. It's huge. quite a box. It's like 46 box. inches long this way and 15 inches wide. Yeah, I mean it's it's a thick boy. So we're gonna pick it up and put it up here. And we're gonna take a look at the box and see what it says. So you get that side. You want that side or or, or you want this side? Let's go. This side's very light, by the way. It's not that heavy, but it's a big box. I, was, I thought I was going to smash my fingers. Sorry, it's, it's not that heavy, so it's not going to hurt. It's not. It, it would hurt, but so, it wouldn't hurt that. So now we're going to take a look at what all it says. So it says Pulp Magnify Max SR. Can you see that? Maximum performance home theater sound bar system. Bold claims, patented SDA, with surround, SR1 wireless surround, <coughs> true 5.1 surround. Hear every word with voice adjust. Okay, good. Uh, wireless surround, 4K HDR, HDMI, Dolby Audio, DTS, wireless subwoofer, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and Chromecast. Has an HDMI included in an optical. Works with Popular TV remotes too. Let's move around to the to right here. It says pretty much the same stuff on this side. Patented SDA, patented stereo dimensional array. That's what that stands for. Traditional sound bars. And they're saying patented surround. And then we got wireless surround speakers in this box itself. So um, let me spin this around to get to the other side. Lots of information on this box. So, maximum performance, true, true surround, built-in remote control capability, Bluetooth, music streaming, easy setup, low profile. It'll be like only two inches tall. So, pendant surround stuff, Polk adjusts, voice adjusts. Chromecast built-in is cool, that's what I use the most. The remote looks nice. Night mode, take control of everything you hear, movie sports, music modes. I like that. Hopefully it's backlit. I don't know yet. And on here in the picture shows three HDMI ports, which is fantastic. And one TV out with arc. So we're going we're gonna to unbox it. And um, now it shows on this side that it's supposed to be fairly easy to unbox. You just pull cut here, open it down, and it should just pull out. So we're going to see if that's true. Okay, so I've got the trusted... Um, Kit's scissors. I'm gonna cut this one piece of tape right here. Pretty simple. Oh, there's some on the side. Wasn't. Okay, it's still right here, too. Uh, okay. That looks like all of the tape spots. Put that down. Oh, yes, you can probably flip all these. Yeah, you gotta put this up. There you go. Gotta get that side, too. Um, and we get the styrofoam. Yes. Oh wait, it says it has a hand. Hand Maybe down. It Maybe it means out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think like it just slides it out. right out. Ooh. That's a big old box. Good. Good. Yeah. It's a big old box. It's a big old box. <laughs> Here we get Polk accessories, so we will just gonna pull this off first. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that pop there. So 
Okay, we'll set this aside. This is the subwoofer, by the way. Um, I'll put this um, yeah. <coughs> somewhere this here. Okay. Well, let's pull this one off first. I mean, that uh, next. And then we'll. <clears throat> yeah, there looks like the surround speakers right there. Get this one. Because there's a surround. Oh, <laughs> the heart. It's a heart. I'm guessing this was supposed to be taped down. It wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> it smells a little weird. I mean, yeah. Like electronics. So we'll put things right here. I mean, I hope so. They're, they, they are, are electronics. electronics. That is true. We can leave that there. We don't need it. nothing okay. below that. Pull this one off, though. Oh. And then pull this one. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I guess you can pull this up like this. Oh, it is thin. Wow. <laughs> That's a thin yeah, sound bar. Feel that. No, no, it's just probably space. Oh. Very, you could wax very thin. This. Yeah, I guess you could. Oh, God. You could. Don't do that at home. Don't, don't do that Anyways, anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Um, there's nothing else in this box of styrofoam. So we can um, put this back here. So we got the sound bar, sub, surround speakers. And then. Um, pull off the, the six, yeah, that's, that's robust. Expert, or you expect great sound. Expert great sound. Expert great sound. That's what you get in there. Very cool. I always look for batteries and see what brand they use, and I do not know that brand. Daily Max. Yeah. So, I'm gonna guess plugins for the surround, they look the exact same. Oh, I don't know what that is. Something. Hmm. It's not like a... It's a power supply. Yeah, it looks like, like a charger. Yeah, it does. And I don't know what it goes to, so we may have to read on that. So there's uh, 3.5, an optical. It's, it's like a mounting kit. HDMI cords right here. That's cool. Instruction book. Oh, that's a thick boy. That's a lot of reading. Um, nice remote. Able to read. Look at the bag. That's that's high quality. Oh, geez. That's high quality. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we will uh, let's let's take apart some of this stuff. All right. Okay, you can to uh, look at inside of these surround speakers first. That's a cool sticker. I like that. I like the the wrap on here. It's really, yeah, it's really nice. It is nice. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. So it's got rubber feet on it. So it's got rubber feet on the bottom. It's got a sync button. Uh, power light, it looks like. I don't know what that is. Because there's a light on the bottom where the power goes. It also has a wall mount, or you can hook it onto something. Interesting. Uh, let's see what the bottom says. The bottom says, I'll let you look at it first. So, um, I always like to see how much power is is it is, um, is involved. And this does not say. It says made in China. Yeah. No power requirements. So I don't know how loud this. I mean, it's a pretty, that's a pretty big speaker. Mm -hmm. So I can't see inside here. There's no, um, it's no cover, so you can't pull the cover off to look. So, yeah. Anyways, let's look at the sub now. Cause this is a. I guess I can do that too. Yeah. It's a big one. Um, okay. Just like May have to do. The bottoms. There we go. Staticky. Polk. Polk. Look at that. That's like, like light looking. Yeah, it's plastic. Yeah, that's probably why. Yeah. It's plastic. Not wood. Not wood. And this does say 80 watts on it. <clears throat> 
So, um, that's the front. Looks, it looks nice though. Yeah. It's big. Um, there's the back. See all the plug and what else is back here? I didn't see. Just has a plug and a sink button. Bar sink is what it says. And then there's the bottom. So probably an eight inch. Yeah, it's an eight inch sub, uh, I would assume. So uh, maybe smaller. Base port on the bottom too. So hopefully it sounds good, I don't know. I mean, for the size, it should sound pretty good. So now let's break into the brain of everything. And that will be the sound the bar. The brains is gonna be this. All right. I don't see, oh, it's got the one most part in. Input, Bluetooth, volume. No, that says voice. Mute, that's volume there. So, and it's hard to see. I don't know how, how many speakers are in this. So I can't, I can't really no, there's see. Not really there's really no way to tell. Yeah. <clears throat> there's sides, let's get these sides on. How's that on there? Just, just pull it off. Just pull it off. Yeah, just pull it off. Okay, or you could do that. There we go. <laughs> what's, what's the use of that? You can see the amp in it. See the amp in it, or uh, well, at least the cooling mm -hmm. fins. It's just darkness. Darkness. Look at the side. Yeah, same thing. So the back. See, this is nice. It has a lot of ports, a lot of inputs. Most sound bars are now scamping on all of these things. Three, three HDMI <laughs> inputs, one output. Power. Ethernet's on there too, I do believe. That's that's quite a lot. That is quite a lot. Most sound bars nowadays are getting rid of all of them. So. Mm. Yeah, so I mean, that's pretty cool. Pretty impressive. It looks cool. Whether it sounds cool or not will be a whole nother, whole nother thing. So next step would be putting batteries into to the remote. Oh yep. I only do this because of one commenter said, in one of the old videos, why did you have to show putting batteries into to the remote? It's not a backlit remote, by the way. I was hoping it was. I mean, maybe it still will be, but I, I seriously doubt that. It feels nice, doesn't it? Looks like... Oh, that's light. Yeah. Oh, probably because there's no missing, batteries in it. It's <laughs> missing two batteries. Mm -hmm. So... It reminds me of, like, massage chair, like, remotes. Mm. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Probably because it's, like... I am curious to know where these batteries come from. Like, mm. They are really secured into there. The, from the lining. Safety first. Safety. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can see. Daily Max. Heavy duty, extra heavy duty. Hmm. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, it's a little. So. Put them in one side. That's weird. There we go. Still feels light. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, what, what are you doing? Reminds me of a, almost like a Vizio TV remote. Mm. Yeah. Still makes me um, think of massage chairs. So, surround speakers has a volume up right, right on it. That's cool. Bass, voice, volume. It's hard to push. Push the buttons. Push the volume up. 
Is that weird? Yeah. That's odd. It's like you gotta, you gotta try twice to like. Yeah. Or like use like the very tip of your fingers. Anyway, so we're going to uh, plug all this in. If there's anything uh, interesting in that, uh, we'll show you. So I forgot. I haven't even said the price of this whole thing. It's five ninety nine. And I didn't know the specs officially until I had looked them up from on Polk's website. So the sub here, five ninety nine, five ninety nine, five hundred ninety nine USD. The sub weighs thirteen point five pounds. Has an eight inch sub, like I was thinking, subwoofer speaker, ported. Um, it's kind of tall, fourteen point five four inches tall. Um, the surrounds or one three inch speaker in each one so in each one of these is a three inch full range speaker 60 watts that's it and that's max and so the sound bar itself has quite a few speakers more than what i was thinking so it has four one inch by three inch oval midwoofers two 0.75 inch round tweeters and one round mid-range one one inch mid-range so that's that's fuck, seven speakers just in there so yeah and that weighs six pounds it says um i guess i didn't say this weight of these because oh, it doesn't say the weight yeah so let's get it let's get this hooked up so i plugged it in see your lights See like, ooh. Okay. So it does have a power supply right there. Most cases you would just take it off and put it down, but I just left it on there. It's fine. So I think I have to hit source. I know what that is. Y'all, nothing's happening. Yeah. Jeez. Um, it's no on screen, even though it's plugged in. Hmm. PS4 plugged into here. I, I didn't know that it even had that. So I did that, and it's back to where I was. So we're going to um, listen to some copyright free music, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so we've been trying to play around with it. There's no way to, um, increase treble for the speakers. Uh, you have movie, action, or game, I guess, maybe, and music. When you turn on movie one, right, it sends some weird sound to the surrounds. Yeah. Um, it's loud. I'll give it that, but let's listen to some music and uh, let you let let you see. Chill by Sakura HC. Turn bass up. Full bass. Take you there. Feet reattune by Spectrum. Been thinking about you all night.
it was alright. Now we're gonna go to, to some games. My uh, camera person's over there, so I'm having to hold the camera. We're gonna play some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold, Cold War? Alpha. I've got this around. Uh, almost full bus. Actually, let's just go full bus. Let's see what happens. Maximum volume on oh, this round. We'll scoot over to your right. Hopefully the surround is okay. That's pretty legit. Yeah. The surround's on maximum volume though. You can hear ourselves too much. Yeah, I can hear my, my footsteps a lot. So, so little, like, like off? Delayed. Yeah, like it's, it's like delayed. It's delayed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. We just played some games. Uh, what's your impression of them? Um, it's not that great. Yeah. It's a bit. It, it's, it's a bit weird. Yeah. It's um, echoey. It's delayed sometimes. Yeah, with the surround. Yeah. The surround is delayed a little the bit sometimes. Delayed. Sometimes. So now we're gonna do a, a max volume test of just the sandbar itself without the sub and then plug the sub in and do it all at the same time. So this may get loud for this house. Okay, so here's a remote. I'm gonna go up. This is no sub, okay? It's hard to turn up. power with the sub on now at the same spot where it just stopped. It. interesting <laughs> at what time in the morning at 3 a.m mm -hmm. um so that was um at full volume it, it, it sounded fine it sounded that. fine yeah. yeah so um when i used the bows the bows was pretty pretty bad at full volume uh, you had to lower it down to like three quarters to get the sound to be better because it just really washed itself out this sounded okay it actually was loud uh you could hear the vocals fine the bass, I think, kind of got um, drowned out by the vocals, I think, a little bit. Yeah. So when I turned it down... I couldn't tell what was being said in the song. <laughs> yeah. 
the so, bass kicked in. Yeah, so when I tur turned it down, it kind of smoothed out a little bit with the bass. So, interesting uh, speaker setup. So, let's get our final thoughts. So, Polk Magnif Magnify Max SR. Um, yeah, the maximum performance home theater soundbar system this is a little bit of a letdown. Um, it's a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, it's okay. Um, but it's not a budget device, so you can't say it for a budget one it sounds good, because it's not a budget, it's $600. It doesn't sound good. So, just like in my pre previous videos, I've talked about the Vizio 5.1 surround soundbars for about $200. It sounds better than this, and, and this, this is just okay. So, I cannot recommend this one at all. What do you say, Afton? No? No. A no. So, yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's sad. I was gonna let this sit around for a while and let's listen to it because I thought, I thought it was gonna be good, fantastic, but it's not. Um, yeah. It's a letdown. So, thanks, Polk. Uh, thanks for trying, uh, but try again. <laughs> Uh, if you want to uh, test out your other items, your other products, uh, just hit me up and I'll test out some better ones if you have it. Thanks, folks. Appreciate it. Don't be mad at us. Anyways, yeah, thanks for being here. Like, share, subscribe. Until next one, bye-bye.